An elderly man named Henry was a quiet man who enjoyed spending most of his days reading books and tending to his garden. However, his greatest companion was his faithful dog, Rufus. Rufus had been by Henry's side for over a decade, and they had grown old together. One day Henry noticed that Rufus had been acting strangely. He was lethargic, barely eating, and not as excited as he used to be. Henry knew something was wrong with Rufus, so he took him to the vet. Unfortunately, the news wasn't good. Rufus had a severe illness, and the treatment would cost a lot of money. Henry was heartbroken. He loved Rufus more than anything in the world, but he didn't have the money to pay for the treatment. He thought about selling his possessions, but nothing he owned was worth enough. Henry knew what he had to do, and it was the hardest decision he ever had to make. The next day, Henry took Rufus to the vet. He was trembling, and tears streamed down his face as he handed Rufus to the vet. He said his goodbyes and left the room. The vet promised Henry that Rufus wouldn't suffer and that he would take care of everything. Henry returned home, alone and heartbroken. He couldn't bear the thought of living without Rufus. He missed his loyal companion and regretted not being able to provide him with the treatment he needed. Days went by and Henry mourned the loss of Rufus. He had no idea what the future held for him, but he knew it would never be the same without his faithful companion. However, something unexpected happened. One afternoon, Henry received a phone call from the vet. The voice on the other end of the line was cheerful and said, Henry, I have great news. Rufus is doing much better. It turns out that he had a simple infection and we were able to treat him with antibiotics. Henry couldn't believe it. He was ecstatic and filled with joy. He rushed to the vet's office and when he arrived, Rufus was there, tail wagging, waiting for him. Henry burst into tears and hugged Rufus tightly. He was overjoyed to have his best friend back.